Hello, and uh, welcome to the new blog. I'm going to take a look at myself today, um, September the 19th. Uh, pretty difficult puzzle. I'm sure any of you who've tried it will echo those thoughts. Um, sort of a number of words um, that were pretty unfamiliar to me, um, some of which I took minutes on, especially at the end. Um, relatively easy to get going, surprisingly, for a puzzle of this difficulty. Um, Part-timer, well, that wasn't too bad, and that gave me a start on pupas, where adults beginning, you're obviously looking for an A. Um, and I thought that in them part of the definition probably meant I needed another little creature to put around the edge of my, my A. Um, to give a sort of second type of little creature and that that did prove to be the case. Three down held me up for ages. You can see I've already made a mistake there. The um, close to wicket um, I was convinced would be a T. So I put the T in. Couldn't think of any words that fitted side blank 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 T. Uh, instead of course we needed to read that as a player close to wicket. Uh, for a slip, who of course is close to the wicket, which is very nice um, and fooled me. Uh, 14 across, perhaps one of my best solves of the puzzle. Um, so let's see how many seconds it... Yeah, okay, so that took me probably uh, about five seconds from from reading the clue to putting that in, which I was pretty pleased with. Um, the, um, the reference to China... Is a you know that's a fairly common word for friend that you see in, in these puzzles. I think I might even have mentioned it in the uh, in these vlogs before, and then putting mates around the outside uh, for machinates. And you can see actually, look, we've got one minute fifty five seconds already. Um, already, well, maybe a third of the puzzle done. Naked thrown in there, you know, it all seems to be going swimmingly. Uh, I even get noisette, which um, is. You know, it's fairly cryptic, sweet little sound as you might suppose. So it's a pun on a sort of a small noise, might be a noisette. Um, uh, need, I was fairly careful over. Uh, I'm very, very commonly, I'll make a mistake on homophones like that where, you know, the answer could be K N E E D or K N E A D. So I, I, I tried to make sure that. Um, I got that right. Then we've got scientific instrument got from Dime Store at 28 across where I've looked at that. I've seen it's an anagram. Uh, I don't think at this point I spotted I could get meter out of the anagram. Uh, but even when I do spot I, I've got meter, I'm not familiar with a dose. How, is it a dosimeter? Is that how you say that? Um, which I think is something to do with radiation doses. Um, so I was faced with an uncomfortable choice then between disometer and dosimeter, which I eventually did get right, but more by luck than judgment. Um, you can see I've got, I've had another look at side slip, still failed to do it. And now I'm starting to feel the pain because um, everything that was going so swimmingly one minute, 30 seconds ago, I haven't really made much progress since then. And I'm sort of, bouncing around through clues, just desperately trying to get an answer. I may even solve 20 across, I do solve 20 across cold, which I'm pretty pleased with. Port um, and me in dent. Um, so behavior was deportment. This writer, me, after drink, after the word port, when sunk in depression in dent, um, you know, that was that was a good cold solve. I was pleased with that. And I've even cold solved starters, but you'll see later, I really don't understand it. Um, I've since looked up that I believe a starter is something, it's, it's a culture used in, it might be cheese making or something like that, to, to encourage the initial formation of the sort of, or the initial transformation. And that's called a starter. And I had never heard that before. So I, I, I filled it in because it fitted the wordplay, but I really wasn't happy with it. Um, and especially with not knowing Petty Official for 27 across. Um, bur burrito was a good solve. Actually, I've just thrown that in there. Something rough in Mexican dish 
one to cut out. So the wordplay there is quite difficult. You've got to spot that the Mexican dish is a burrito and one to cut out is getting at I-T-O needs to be cut out of the burrito in order to leave a burr which is something rough. Yeah, so burrito definitely not an easy clue. Um, and yeah, uh, one of several in this puzzle that, that, that could certainly uh, stump one. I mean, I think it was a lucky solve for me in a way because it gave me an extra letter in the 27 across. Um, the extraordinary answer there. And I think without burrito, I would have been really in trouble. Um, so 18 across, you've got, we've got, I've put KO in there. I was, I'm lucky enough to know that that is a spelling of the more common abbreviation KO knockout. Um, so that's just okay with the O, uh, the O move to the end. Um, Fresco was nice as well. So officer commanding, lowly worker to bring back work of art. So that was OC for officer commanding, reversed and surf reversed, um, to give the fresco. And you can see I've taken my first look now at 27 across. Um, I guess one of the things to note is how kind the setter was, in a way, not to use petty officer at the, uh, as the definition, which would, I think, still have been, uh, well, maybe, maybe it wouldn't quite have been as valid, but petty officer, I'm pretty sure, has a valid abbreviation of PO, which would have made this clue even harder. Um, as it was, I mean, we'll come back and talk about it at the end, but it was a brute. Um, liquid and what it can't make one for sure. That was a, that was a tricky clue actually for me because it's hard to see that the definition there is sure rather than liquid. Um, it looks like it's, it's liquid, whereas actually it breaks down as liquid being water and then what it can't make one. Well, water can't make one drunk and tight is a word for being drunk. So, um, you know, the whole thing gives you watertight, which is, which is actually sure. If something's sure, it's watertight, which is, um, yeah, it was a good clue that tricky, tricky to work out. Um, appalling and scary. I was not totally comfortable that these were synonymous. Um, so I think, I think even though I've moved on to saltery, my mind is still going back to eight down here and thinking, might scary be wrong? Is this why definitely correct? Um, because, you know, well, I, actually the why I was fairly confident about because I could see how Open University was coming out of you. Um, why OU? Um, but I, I'm st I know I was a bit worried about whether, whether scary and appalling were definitely right. Taking my second look now at dos dosimeter. I might put the meter in, I think, here. Um, you can see my brain is very slowly ticking round to the fact that I have the letters M, E, T, E, and R in the anagram. Oh, finally got it. Well done, me. And then I think I now take take a punt on there not being a word dosimeter and dosimeter seeming seeming slightly more likely. Yeah, there we go. And the M's really helpful there because it it, it really. Um, you know, it's not too hard now to see that Bedlam is a possibility with its innards twisted. Um, and Beldam is a word I'm, I'm fortunate enough to know. So I could, um, I could write that in. I might get watertight now. I can't remember. And then also Penstemon. I mean, that's, again, it's a word, it's a, it's a word I know in the sense that you know, if someone said to me, is there a flower called a penstemon? I'd go, yeah, definitely. And then if they'd said, well, how, how do you spell it? I would have gone P-E-N-S-T-E-M-O-N -M probably. <laughs> so uh, that's not helpful. Uh, one of the things about wordplay that is so, so good for uh, people like me who, whose spelling isn't absolutely top notch is it gives you a second chance. I think I get tickled. This time, yeah, I do. Um, and that's not so bad. And then immediately I look at this collection of letters in seven down and I, uh, it's just screaming temperate. So it's just a case of fitting that onto the wordplay. I think, did that use ATE as a trouble? Yeah, eight, ATE, I think is a word for a, a goddess, isn't it? That's, um, who was, 
uh, this is something like a dom domestically difficult goddess or something. I'm probably getting that totally wrong, and people will write in and complain about how stupid I am, which you know I, I take on the chin. Um, but I think I think that's what's being got at there. Um, hepatitis was okay once I realised I could put the he is around the edge, and then once you get the he is around the edge, and you're looking for a disease, well, that's doable. Um, and hump was fine. Um, so let's just have a look now. And finally, I'm putting. I think I'm just double checking how Penstemon works. Um, and I also, with the hundred there, we talked about it the last few days. But hundred is so often C that I, I was desperately trying to see how there there couldn't be a C in this this word. And yeah, once I realised ton was the answer was 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 what I needed, then um, then we're okay. Maybe I get side slip this time. Let's see, oh oh oh, this is infuriating. How slowly my brain works. I mean, this is a massive difference between me and the most you know the the very highest level of solvers, the the Mark Goodlifts and the Jason Jameses and the Peter Biddlecombs. You know they. They are done, you know, from where I was, um, you know, two minutes ago, they finished the puzzle by now. So you can see it's 11 minutes 10 at the moment. I've got three answers unsolved. And in a moment, I'm going to have one answer unsolved. And I will still take another six minutes to fill in that last answer, which is, I mean, it's just dreadful. Um, and sorry, indictment of the speed at which my mind works compared to the very the very best solvers and so it's deeply frustrating um but there we are all we can do is is keep practicing and, and try and improve uh, i think i'm hopefully going to correct the spelling of watertight yeah and there we are we're now i'm not going to make you sit through these six minutes until i eventually come up with the correct breakdown of, um, of this word which you need to basically work out that the only old country that could fit is gaul you need to come up with the fact that a sort of appeal is is sex appeal, and sex appeal is sometimes it in crosswords. If you have it, you have sex appeal. Um, and then you have to come up with the unlikely proposition that ear, E-W-E-R, is, is always, and that that should be surrounding the IT for it, which just seems so unlikely. I mean, how can this be a word? G-A-U-L. E I T E R. I mean, yeah. Well, it is, um, and we can't complain because the wordplay is very specific. Um, but I think I spend some time removing starters from the grid because I've I've never heard of this meaning in the context context of culture, and you know, trying to come up with other words that might work for twenty seven across. So. Uh, I won't make you watch my stupidity real time. We'll speed up the video, uh, play some music, and hopefully this gives you all hope um, um, for for speed solving in the future because it's um, it, it is it's it's awful how long this this finish takes me. But we'll talk more tomorrow. I hope this was at least interesting, and we'll see you then.